The history of the Japanese ship Junyo Meru, the ship of hell. The Junyo Meru, a dry cargo ship built in 1913 in Britain. In 1926 it was sold to Japan, and during the Second World War it became one of the ships of hell. Sunk in 1944 by the British submarine Tradewind. As a result, 5,620 people were killed from among the prisoners of war and Javanese workers on board. The vessel was built under the name Argern at the Robert Duncan shipyard in Glasgow for Lang and Fulton. In 1917, the bulk carrier was sold to the Norfolk and North American Steamship Company and renamed Heartland Point. A year later, sold to Johnstone Line again, in 1920 the name was changed to Hartmore. In 1921, another sale followed, and renaming into Shoreway. The ship was sold to Japan in 1926, where she received the name Junyo Meru. During World War II, the territory of the Dutch East Indies was occupied by Japan. By March 1943, communication with other possessions of the Japanese Empire through the port of Padang, located in the southwest of Sumatra, was greatly complicated by the actions of Allied submarines in the Indian Ocean. The problem could be solved by gaining access to the Straits of Malacca via the northern coast of Sumatra. The Japanese decided to build a railroad. For the construction of a 220 km railway, the Japanese occupation authorities used the forced labor of several tens of thousands of Indonesian workers and about 5,000 prisoners of war. The railroad ran through a jungle with a lot of swamps. The harsh working and living conditions led to the death toll reaching 70,000 by the time construction was completed. This was comparable to the losses incurred during the construction of the Thai Burma Railway, which killed 90,000 people. During the war, the Junyo Meru carried various cargoes. In 1944 he carried out the transportation of prisoners and Indonesian laborers from Java to Sumatra for use in the construction of the railway. The largest disaster occurred on September 18, 1944. The British submarine Tradewind torpedoed the Japanese ship Junyo Meru. This is one of the ships, called the Ships of Hell. These were Japanese merchant ships used to transport prisoners of war and workers, actually slaves, who were nicknamed Ramusia, to Japanese-occupied territories during World War II. Ships of Hell were not officially part of the Japanese Navy and did not have identification marks, but the Allied forces sank them from this no less fiercely. In total, during the war, nine ships of Hell were sunk, which killed almost 25,000 people. On the ship on September 15, 16, 1944, in the Javanese port of Tanjung Priok, on board the Junyo Meru, according to various estimates, from 6526 to 6607 people were accommodated. Of these, 4,320 were Javanese laborers, Ramusia, 506 native prisoners from other eastern islands, 1,781 prisoners of war and civilian internees, mostly Dutch, as well as British, Americans and Australians. The guard consisted of only 100 people. In the hold, additional bamboo decks were erected, separated by partitions of the same material. The height of the compartments allowed people to sit only lying down. Passengers were not provided with drinking water, some were sick with dysentery and malaria. The conditions in which the slaves on the ships had to survive were simply appalling. Many went mad, dying of exhaustion and stuffiness. Like other Japanese ships of hell, the Junyo Meru did not have any special markings or sufficient rescue equipment. 
of the rescue equipment on the ship, packed with prisoners of war to the eyeballs, there were two lifeboats and several rafts. The Junio Meru left the port on September 16 at 1500 hours sharp. Due to overload, he could not reach a speed of more than 8 knots. The escort consisted of a patrol ship and a minesweeper. By the morning of September 17, the ship reached the Zonsky Strait. The next day, 18 September, the Junio Meru was sighted by the British submarine Tradewind. The main periscope and radar of the boat were out of order, so the target was pursued from the surface to a distance of 3,000 meters. After reaching a position convenient for attack, the submarine fired four torpedoes into the starboard side of the Junio Meru from a distance of 1,750 meters, two of which hit the target. The Junio Meru lost speed and began to sink. Most of the crew and guards managed to leave the ship, which sank after 20 minutes. The Binkulu coast was 10 and 12 kilometers away, which was too far even for strong swimmers. The ship's prisoners had no chance of escape. After another half hour, the escort ships pursuing the submarine returned to the place flooding, but saved primarily the Japanese and a small part of the prisoners. The number of survivors, according to various estimates, ranged from 723 to 880 people, 5,620 people died, including 4,000 Indonesians and 1,520 prisoners of war. The survivors were sent to the construction of the railway. Only 96 of them survived to the end of the war. This was the case when the living envied the dead. The captives who were miraculously escaped were sent to their destination to build a railway to Sumatra. The chances of surviving there were little more than on the ill. Lynch Maiden, the commander of the Trade Wind submarine, later learned that there were prisoners of war and Indonesian workers aboard the Junio Meru. 24 years after the sinking, the submarine commander entered into correspondence with one of the survivors. A plaque was installed in the Dutch chapel, located on the territory of the Memorial Cemetery in Apeldoorn. There is a plaque in memory of the citizens of the Kingdom of the Netherlands who have found their last refuge in the Far Eastern Seas since December 1941 to August 1945. The plaque was placed by the Junio Meru Memorial Society Sumatra in 1986. In the territory of a military cemetery in the Indonesian city of Jamahi, a memorial was erected with an inscription in memory of the victims of sea transport ships from 1942 to 1945. On June 4, 2000, a memorial ceremony was held near the coast of Sumatra. Three Dutch frigates, a Belgian freighter and an Indonesian naval ship, came to the point of death of the Junio Meru to pay tribute to the victims in Lair Eats. That's all friends. If you like this video definitely share with friends and family. Like and of course subscribe to the Mood Flow channel. See you.